Hello everyone and welcome to a new section. In this section we're going to be creating the lights for our modern house scene. In this video we will focus on the HDR lighting and the sun lamp. So the first thing that you need to do is go download the HDR that we'll be using and you can find that in the article previous to this video. There's a link to a website and I'll go ahead and show the website right here. Once you go to that website go ahead and download this skate park HDR. This is the one that we'll be using. I find that the clouds and the lighting looks pretty good. So go ahead and click on this and it will start to download. Back in Blender, let's go ahead and add in that HDR. So let's split the view and then add it in. So come up to this corner and drag this out so we have two different windows. Come up here and go to the shader editor and then underneath object, select world. And so now we are working with the world nodes rather than the material nodes. Next thing that we'll do is press shift A and go to texture and then environment texture. The difference between image and environment, environment is the whole 360 degrees all the way around the scene. So let's go ahead and add the texture and then environment texture and place that right here. Take the color and plug it into the background and then click open. Once you've found the HDR that you downloaded, go ahead and click on the 3K.HDR and then go open image. And now if we come over here and press Z and go into rendered view, we should be able to see the HDR. And there we again, we can see it all the way around just like that. Let's go ahead and position the camera. So I'm gonna go back into solid view and then place my viewport right about here or so. And then I'm going to press Control, Alt, and then Numpad 0. This will snap my camera to view. On a Mac, it is Command Option 0. So go ahead and do that. And let's close this out just a little bit so we have some more room. I'll right click on my camera, press G, middle mouse button, and then drag it back. And then I'll press G, Z, drag it down a little bit. Double tap R to move it up. And then we'll just continually do that. So G middle mouse button to drag it back a little bit more, drag it down GZ and just place it where you want your view to be. So I'm probably gonna go with about this angle. So we can see the, the window here. We can see the brick wall in the back. Maybe I'll drag it this way. So RZ and then you can rotate it like this. I'll probably go about here or so. We'll be able to see the grass. We'll be able to see the entire pool and then inside the house will look nice maybe a little bit lower, and I think that's perfect. Next, let's drag this window back out, and now we'll add in a texture coordinate node so we can actually move the HDR to where we want. So to do that, I'm gonna press Shift A, go to Input, and then Texture Coordinate. Place that right here. Then press Shift A, go to Vector, and then Mapping. Place that here. Take the generated output and plug that into the vector, and then the vector into the vector of the environment texture. Now if we go back into render view, so hold Z, go into render view, we can now rotate the HDR with this rotation value. So if I drag this along the Z, you'll notice that the HDR is now moving around. So I'm probably going to go with a value of like negative 30, so we'll type in negative 30 and then enter, and we can see some clouds in the distance. And I don't want to be able to see those uh, those metal things right here, those roofs. So I'm going to drag the X up just slightly to get rid of that so we can only see the sky background. So five on the X and then negative 30 on the Z and we can see it just like that and that is looking pretty cool. Now the strength is way too high and so let's go ahead and drag the strength down to a value of 0.3 and then enter and we'll see how that looks. Not too bad, we might wanna bring this lower. Uh, for now though, we'll leave it at 0.3. What we're creating right now is called the blue hour. This is a time of period where it's like the twilight or the morning where the sky is very, very blue and the lights inside have like an orange, a warm, warm color. You can still see the outside. You can still see the grass pretty clearly, uh, but it's like at the time of day where the sun is about to set. Now to get that more blue color, what we're going to do is press shift A add in a color and then hue saturation and place that right here next for, next to the environment texture and the background. Now, if we play around with the saturation, if I drag this up just slightly, you'll notice that the HDR is now more of a blue color. I'm probably just gonna go with a 1.1, so it's not too crazy. I think 1.2 is just a little much. 
So let's go with 1.1 and this will just add a little bit more blue to our sky. Next, let's go ahead and add in a sun lamp. So press shift A, go to light and then sun. We'll go back into solid view so we can place this and then go into side view by pressing three on your number pad. R to rotate, we'll rotate it up and place it about this angle. Then go into top view by pressing seven. We'll rotate it this way so it's coming at this sort of angle and right about there looks pretty good. Now the strength of this, we're gonna go with a value of 0.2. So it's just a very low strength and we'll see how that looks. So now let's go back into camera view. So go ahead and press zero on your number pad to snap to camera view, Z, and then go into render view and we can see how this sun lamp looks. There you go, you can see it's casting a nice shadow right here and it's looking pretty good. If you want there to be softer shadows, which I kind of do, you're, you're gonna want to drag the angle up over here. So let's try a value of three and you'll notice that the shadow now has a softer edge. So if you want more, just drag the angle up. If you want a sharper edge, drag the angle down. I think I'm gonna go with a value of five, so it's a nice soft shadow. And as you can see there, it looks pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and drag the strength of the background even lower. So let's go with a 0.2, and I think that will look good. Now that we've done that, we can go ahead and work on the pool lights. 